Well, good morning and welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. All right, this workout today is gonna be a total body strength workout. I love splitting it into muscle groups so that we can really isolate and focus on specific muscles. So I'm gonna make it no repeat, but in essence, each group is gonna have five different exercises so you'll get that progressive overload. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today, your water or BCAAs, that is it, that is all. We'll start with a warm up and end with a cool down. If you like the strength only workouts, be sure to click the card at the top of the screen and that is my playlist. All right, are you ready to do this? Let's go and move it. I'm hitting strength on my watch here. Let's start our warm up, stretch across here. I'm gonna have to warm up my lower back a little bit more. It feels very tight from my last leg day. This is a lot of glutes, you know, so we'll spend a few moments reaching forward and bending and that sort of thing. Reach up. I've been biking a lot as well, and you know, I think you're, you're sort of hunched over in that position. I try to keep my back nice and flat, but sometimes I get lazy and round a bit, I think. All right, one more here. So just stay wide, and let's hinge forward and back. Ah, oh, there we go, it feels good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two more here. Oh yeah, last one and hinge, good. Let's take it a little wider, now touch our toes for 10 here. Get the hamstrings warmed up. If you can't touch your toes, touch your shin. Good, four more. All right, stay wide. Toes are out, let's go up plie, opening the chest there. Last one here, and we'll move it to a squat with a front kick. Right there, alternate your kick for 10. Good, last here, and there we go. Circles on the shoulders here. Tap it out if you can. All right, switch directions. And let's torso twist here a little. Oh yeah, this always feels amazing. <laughs> I love this one. It just kind of loosens that lower back up, stretches into the shoulder blade a bit. Feels good. Two more here. All right, let's just hinge forward at the waist. Knees are soft. Give me a nice reach up there. Push the thumb to the ceiling and switch. We're just opening up into that chest a bit and stretching lower back. Switch again. And one more time here. Good, stay feet shoulder width. Let's finish off with a little squat. Reach right here and we'll get started. Four more here. Last one. All right, there we go, here is your first muscle group and your first five exercises. All right, let's start with glutes, get the heart rate up a bit. I'm gonna start with a goblet squat, I'm gonna hold a 20. Feet are shoulder width apart, elbows touch down to the knees, ass to grass if you can, here we go. And low, drive through the heels. Good. 
you're halfway. Remember each exercise only once. Think about the glutes for this five full minutes here, okay? Put your mind in that muscle. Other muscles may be recruiting, but that's what you want to concentrate on. Last one here. Excellent, I'm gonna stick with my 20. Feet are wider than shoulder width. And we're gonna hinge, two, three, drive and squeeze the glutes at the top. Lead with your chest, back is flat. Three, two, one, and up. Reach your hips way back. Call halfway, then we'll switch. Here we go. Take it low, kick it here. You can eliminate the kick if it's making you too tippy. You would just tap or high knee. Drop that back knee low. One more on this side. All right, switch your legs. Dropping low, drop the glutes, shoulders back, and drop it here and drive, here and drive. Okay, keep your pace up. Good, switch hands and drop. I got about 10 in that first section. Let's see if I can hit 10 here. Don't lean forward, just drop. We're gonna take it to the ground for our last glute exercise. I'm gonna grab a 30 pound dumbbell for my thrusts. Very good. Okay, on your back. Together, knees open. Give me a pulse at the top on this thrust. And so, up, pulse, drop. Up, pulse, drop. Feet together, knees are open. Hold that dumbbell well. Don't want that moving. Job. You can stay down here for your next muscle group, which is going to be chest. We're going to start with that circle chest press. Okay, I'm going to grab 20s for that. Coming up in five seconds. All right. That's heavy. Make a circle with the dumbbells. They start facing your chin. Turn them in a circle, press to the ceiling. Ready? Here we go. Up and around, bring it down. If you can't get this action, just give me a regular chest press. Do not waste time. Stay over the chest. Ooh. 
Little single side push up is coming up next. So y'all get you to flip over as soon as this is done. side is going to do the push up one arm is basically doing an up down so you're here you're going to take it down and up I'll call half to switch here we go take it low press it up this can be modified from the knees last one on this side and switch your hands. Just one elbow down. Other elbow is bending low. Chest fly is coming up. I'm going to grab 12s for that. Not too strong on the chest flies, but you can do 15s or whatever you like. Rounded arms over the chest, not the face. And open, open, close, close. Open, open, close, close. Squeeze at the top. So you're going to go down as if you're doing push up all the way to the stomach, then you push up and rotate. Mod from the knees if you need. Start in push up position. So three, two, one, stomach up, rotate here. Three, two, one, stomach, switch sides here. Three, two, one, stomach, push. chest press but palms facing each other so you do hit a little bit of triceps but mind in the chest straight up and down up touch the ground with the elbows and up and elbows think about your chest switch legs and then we'll add weights on round two. Shoulders back. All right, same side. Take it low, drive it up. Take it low, drive it up. Good. Shoulders back, nice and tall.
All right, last one here. Switch your side and down. My back knee is touching the ground each time. Ooh, now the burn. I feel it. Stay tall. All right, I'm gonna use 15s for my alternating front lunge. Get that 30 there. Oh. Okay, alternating front, shoulders back, engage your core, and drop to the knee if you can. All right, good, resting those. You need to get into a bear crawl. We're gonna crawl front and back. I want you in that hover position right here. All right, lots of quad going on here. Here we go, opposite hand and opposite foot. Yes, this does our hip abs as well, but if you can hover one inch off the ground, you are going to feel those quads burn. Stay low, back is flat. We've got about 10 seconds here. Okay, yeah, there we go. Going into that front squat, and he's 15s again. Rock it in the front. Okay, right here, right here. Drop it low, here we go. Flex quads at the top. side to side. You can also just mod with another front lunge. All right, same leg. So you're here, pop, pop, good. Stay low though, I don't want you to come all the way up. Okay, I'm gonna burn this out a little bit here. In three, two, one, switch legs and work. Shoulders are coming up next, so get ready for that. Woo, and the burn is there. Three, two, one more here. Oh, okay. I'm starting with the front lateral combo. I'm gonna use eight. One to the side, one to the front, alternating. All right, shoulders low, right here and here. Stick your chest out.
All right, we're gonna do an upright row into a W. Honestly, it's gonna be whatever you can W. That's heavy, I'm gonna stick with my eights and that'll be a challenge for me with that. Okay, high pull to W. So you're here, use your soft pocket here, letter W, up. So hitting rear delts right there on the shoulders and front medial delt in the high pull. And you start the W at the bottom. Okay, it's not a rotator cuff uh, as much as rear delts. Very good. Okay, clean and snatch with a 15. I'll call halfway. Wide stance, take it low, and a little and shoulder. Yes, this can be a little bit of glutes as well. Think shoulder, pop here. Press. One more here. All right, switch your side. if you can. Okay, I want you to go light. I'm gonna grab fives. We're gonna do a fly, front press, three or fives, really plenty. You can sit if you like. Here we go. Squeeze, low, press right there. Squeeze, low. Front press, low shoulders. motion, palms face here, ceiling, slow, slow, slow in the down. All right, start at your sides, up, up, slow, two, three, repeat, up, up, slow, two, three, I'm only having fives, I could have done eights probably, so my pace might be slightly faster, slow down if you have heavier weights. there. 10 seconds. Go slow. Two, three, slow. Two, three. Last one here. And three, two, and one. All right. What if we need? Here's your next circuit for abs. All right. Abs down here. Let's get low. I'm going to start with a flutter and scissor combo. 10 of each. Alternating those. I'm going to start with my flutter kick. Ready? I'll call it out. So for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, now scissor here for 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and flutter, go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and scissors go for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Finish with your flutter and ten. 
seconds you got 15 seconds then I'm gonna use my big 20 pound dumbbell here to do a plank dumbbell pass okay or move you just need one dumbbell okay the heavier the better it's gonna go right basically underneath this area I'm gonna reach under move the dumbbell and repeat in a hand and toe plank pop it up Ready, reach it under, move it there. Switch and move. The farther you move it, the more challenging for your obliques to grab it. Pick it up, don't drag it. One for me, the banana boat rocker. So you're on your back. Feet and shoulder blades are off the ground. You're in a banana here. You're rocking side to side. Do the best you can. Rock. If you can't rock, just hold it. Right, the next exercise is a little bit of shoulder thrown in there too, but it's a 
hammer curl switch. One hand starts at the ceiling, one at the ground, and we're gonna switch on the fly. That's the important part, I'm switching to tens. Now, palms don't turn, you stay facing your thighs. Start with one hand at the ceiling, switch in the center, and switch here, press, switch here. Good, I'm gonna keep my pace up since I switched to 10 pound dumbbells, and press, curl. Yeah, that's it. Up. Try to keep your torso still. Very good, okay. Palms up, full range of motion. Peak bicep curl, okay. I think I'll stick with tens here. I'm just gonna rest, pick up my dumbbells, palms up, shoulders back, and Biceps are starting to feel it now. We're gonna move into that pinwheel curl next. But I want you to do palms facing your chest on it, okay? Not the ceiling. A little different hand position. One more. All right, I'm gonna do 12s for this one. Oh, stretch that out. All right, so you're gonna cross the body here palm faces the chest. Knees are soft and up. Good, up. All right, my last one, I'm gonna do an iso hold with one dumbbell and a half bottom curl with the other. I'm gonna hold tens because this will be challenging on that iso hold. All right, so one hand is iso, the other is half and half. Good. Don't rest your elbow on your hip, okay? Just hold it nice and stationary there. This is gonna feel like work by the time we're done this one here. In three, two, and switch. Up. Hands are feeling heavy now. All right, water if you need. All right, we're starting with back. I'm going to a one arm row. I'm gonna grab a 20 for that. And you can either use a bench. I'm just gonna prop myself up. I'll call halfway. Nice, flat back, here we go. Retract that shoulder blade. Don't rush this exercise and up. One more here. All right, switch sides. Flat back and up. Good. 
good. All right, moving into a double wide row. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter with my 12s. Hinging forward again, palms face the back of the room. You're pulling up to 90 and down, here we go. I'll take a break at half to stretch my back and I'll tell you when that is. So I'm looking at the ground, back is flat, neck is neutral, core engaged. All right, I'm gonna stretch it out. Second half, core is tight. Now, dumbbell pullover is coming up. If you have a bench and you want to go heavy on a bench, feel free. I'm not bringing mine into this equation. I've got eights. I'm going to pop into bridge. Dumbbell pullover, nice and slow. Slow, two, three, and one. Slow, two, three, and two. I hold the dumbbell by the bottom so I have a lot a room to let it come down. here. All right, very good. We're going to go into that explosive dumbbell row. Go lighter because this gets intense. I think just 10s, maybe 12s. Feet shoulder width, hinge forward, ground and drive. Stay hinged forward at the waist. If you can touch the ground with your dumbbells, do. If not, come nice and low and drive. Back flat. Break if you need. Woo, that's a tough one. All right, finishing off with Y's. I'm going to use fives or eights here. We're going to make that Y position. Hinge forward, core tight. So you're up, up, pause, and drop. Up, up, pause. Okay, see how hinged forward I am? If I'm not, then I'm working far more shoulder than rear delt and back rhomboid muscles. And that pause at the top will help Recruit those back muscles. Triceps are next. I'm going to take it down to the ground shortly. Last tier. Very good. I'm going to grab my 12s. All right, you're gonna have a tricep press, shallow overhead extension, my favorite exercise. Start elbows on the ground. All right, go ceiling, ground, shallow overhead extension, return. Ceiling, ground, extension, return.
All right, very good. Set those down. Flip it over to a tricep push-up. So I'm gonna do this from my knees because it's challenging. Palms face straight, and you're gonna come down nice and low. Our elbows sweep the side. So you're here and press. Think about your triceps. To the ceiling, here we go. And three, two, one, press to the ceiling. Three, two, one, and press. shaky arms. Good fatigue on the tries on this last set here. Oh, break if you need. We all know the heart is a muscle too. I'm gonna to finish you off with five minute cardio blast just to get heart rates up, just for fun, just to mostly make this a 45 minute workout. <laughs> okay, stay with me right here. We're gonna start with an ice skater hop. Are you ready? Low impact is side tap. Here we go, you're here, hop it, and here, hop it. Woo. Okay, 
Okay, two jacks for the squat. Anyone else's triceps on fire? Tap, tap, squat to mod. Okay. Front. Jacks, two knees. Let's work. Jack, jump, knee, knee. Baller. Okay, get these bad boys out of the way. Squat to mod. All right, get low. You're here, here, jump it here. Here, here. One more. Uh, in and out fast feet. I was tired today. That's why I barely did any cardio. I just wanted to throw this one in. Let's hit this last one. Hard in and out. Here we go. Go. That's it. Nice and quick. All right, you're halfway. Let's go. Turn it up if you can. Pick up that pace. Let's go, let's go. You only have 10 seconds left. And you know what I say? Anyone can do anything for 10, four, three, two, one. And done, you move daily. In your muscle group, total body workout. Thanks for joining. Let's just stretch if you can. Let's just stand and stretch today. Push your heel back into the ground. Let's lean forward. Hands behind your back and stretch in the chest. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. That's it, lean in there. Whoa. <laughs> That last five minutes was hard. Sometimes it just is, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Switch sides and press. I actually did a long walk this morning too. That's probably partly why I'm gassed. Nice rounding through the upper back there. Felt a lot in my rear delts. We did a few rear delt exercises. That's nice. You don't get that too often. Let's start where, uh, finish where we started with this stretch here. Push your thumb to the ceiling. You can roll your wrist up there. 
Normally on your cables at the gym, I would do a lot of rear delts. You know, like reverse cable flies, face pulls, switch sides. Don't have a lot of capacity to train rear delts. Well, using dumbbells, but there's so much more variety with the cables. You could use bands, but I don't do a lot of resistance band workouts because they're not super popular, so then I just don't film them. I don't ever do a workout down here that I don't film. <laughs> I am not wasting my time without putting out content for you guys. I'm gonna flip right over. Okay, if you can cinch your hands together like this. Great little shoulder stretch, lower back. I'm just gonna slightly side to side rotate. Oh, I like it a lot. Just camp out there for a few seconds. Slowly come to standing. If you have a surface somewhere available, open up into that chest. There we go. Yeah, my lower back right there is a bit, a little bit sore. I got a foam roll, my glutes is what I gotta do, and my hamstrings and quads. Switch sides. Oftentimes, two joints below or two joints above are what cause the issues with wherever you have a pain, so it's important to look at, you know, are my calves tight? Right? Um, do I have something going up in my chest? Who knows? It can pull certain areas, so it's always good to check all that out. Let's cross the arm in front. A little shoulder stretch here. <sighs> well, I didn't burn a tremendous amount of calories, 333 in today's workout. That's okay. Got a good sweat on, and I know I use my muscles, which I like. Let me know in the comments below if you like this workout. And hey, I would love to know what you would like to see next always open for suggestions, okay? All right, thanks everyone. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. Here's a workout for tomorrow, or click or tap right there. See ya.